Today we have two swatches on the table here. Um, both of them geotextiles, one of them woven, one of them non-woven. We're gonna kind of go over the bullet points and the use cases for each of these two options. Uh, let's start with woven. Woven, as you can guess, is constructed by interlacing these fibers together. This makes it a really strong option. You're gonna wanna use woven in situations that call for stability or reinforcement. So it's really popular for road construction applications. It can also be used to stabilize man-made embankments. You just kinda of layer it in there and it keeps it from eroding over time and collapsing. That kinda of leads us into non-woven. The fibers are bonded together rather than woven together. It makes it not as strong as woven, but gives it a much higher flow rate. So liquid will pass through this a lot faster. This is ideal for applications where you need drainage or filtration. So if you have a French drain that is at risk of getting filled with sediment, you could wrap it in non-woven. You need to line a trench drain uh, or dozens of landscaping applications. That's what non-woven is for. And that pretty much covers it. These two options, you know, when you hear the word uh, geotextile, you think it's a big complicated topic, but it is pretty simple. Um, but if you are confused, feel free to visit powerpack.net. You can always contact us. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.